Bonjour, c'est Clara French in the Midlands. Today's lesson is about the use of the passive in French. It's not that difficult. It's just a matter of remembering when not to use it. And I'll show you a bit further. Now, before we go any further, I just want to remind you that you can claim your free ebook, The 12 Golden Rules of French, at the link in the description. It's a short ebook that's packed with tips and tricks on how to sound like a native French speaker. Before we dive in, let's find out what the passive voice actually is. Let's go back to English. If you say he eats an apple, that's the active voice. He's the one eating the apple. To make it passive, you say the apple is being eaten. So the apple is having something done to it. That's why it's called passive. It works the same way in French with the use of être and the past participle. Let me give you some examples. For instance, the active voice, on m'a choisi, one chose me. Now, in the active voice in French, when the person doing the action is not defined, we're going to use on for one or someone. It's not the posh one like the queen uses, it's the impersonal one, someone. The passive form of that would be j'ai été choisi, I was chosen, instead of one chose me. You see the difference. Active form, son patron va le promouvoir. Passive, il va être promu par son patron. He is going to be promoted by his boss. Active form, la police a arrêté le voleur. Passive form, le voleur a été arrêté par la police. The thief was arrested by the police. And notice that we actually say a été, has been arrested, because that's our past tense in French, the passé composé. Now let's have a look at some more examples. Active form. Les jeunes ont organisé la soirée. The youngsters have organized the evening or the party. Passive form. La soirée a été organisée par les jeunes. The party has been organized by the youngsters or was organized. Active form. L'explosion a cassé toutes les vitres de la maison. Passive form. Toutes les vitres de la maison ont été cassées par l'explosion. Active form, on a repeint la voiture. Passive form, la voiture a été repeinte. Now, where you have to be really careful is the fact that the passive voice in French is not actually used as often as in English. We don't really like it and we tend to avoid it. And I don't know why, because in some cases it's still grammatically correct. We just don't like it. I'll show you two examples where we don't really like it. On m'a volé ma voiture. One stole my car. Someone stole my car. We don't like to say, ma voiture a été volée. And yet in English, it's my car was stolen, which is the first thing you would say. That's the way you would say it in English, but we don't like it in, in French. We prefer the construction with the on. On m'a volé ma voiture. Someone stole my car. We like to say, les hommes vont préparer le barbecue, rather than le barbecue va être préparé par les hommes. Same thing, we just don't like it. It's not wrong. It's fine grammatic grammatically, we just don't like it. Now let's have a look at sentences where you just cannot use the passive in French. Basically, you can only use the passive form with transitive verbs, which means verbs with a direct object. In the examples below, the person told or given is not the direct object of the verb, but the indirect one, so you cannot use the passive. For instance, I was told to wait here. You have to use 
On m'a dit d'attendre ici. Someone told me to wait here. There's no such thing as I was told in French. There's I told, but not I was told. Same for the next one. He was given a car. You have to say, on lui a donné une voiture. He's not been given to anyone. You see, so that wouldn't make any sense to translate it like that. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. A bientôt.